my hey guys welcome to my channel it's your girl I conquer so I just want to do a little bit something different here I watch I do so much research and I wanted to um, just go online and talk about a video that I just found um, about 10 legit ways to make some extra money and passive income online just to do a reaction video and talk about the things that he talks about on there with you guys all right so with that being said i'm just going to start the video and we're going to get into it in this video i'm going to show you 10 websites where you can actually start making some side cash or if you're really serious some good money isn't that amazing on some of these websites you can actually make as much as a hundred dollars a day or even more and the best part is you don't have to quit your nine to five job you can make this money working in your free time on the internet there are two distinct ways of making money. The first is active income. With active income, it's like your normal 9 to 5 job. You only get paid for the work you do. If you don't work, you don't make money. Simple as that. The second way is through passive income. So that is 100% true. I didn't really understand that or fully understand that concept until COVID-19 happened, honestly, because it forced me to understand that concept. I mean, I knew, and that's why I always used to always have two jobs, always had two jobs. But when I had my daughter, I wasn't able to actually hold down two jobs and still be able to work my one job and pick her up on time from school. It's like a logistics thing for me. So unless I was working at night, but it's just hard. But anyway, if you do not work your job, you don't get paid for that. And then on top of that, the government takes more money out of your paycheck if you, the more overtime you make. So for me, working as a nurse, I was always trying to hunt that extra dollar. And after a while, it, was like, it didn't make sense because the more overtime that I worked, the more money that the government took out of my paycheck. Even though I took home a $1,600 paycheck, they took 500 and something dollars out of it. So it was like, plus with the insurance and everything that I pay on my own, it just, it didn't make any sense for me to, to, to pick up any more than the 40 hours that I was doing at that job. So I had to figure out a way to get out of that only earning this active income because if I'm not active on it, if I don't work, I don't make any money. And if I work too much, the government takes $500 or more out of that paycheck. So it really did not make any sense for me to continue on this dead end cycle. Um, granted, I can keep moving up and making more money, but the way this system works and I'm learning this more and more. Yes, there's nothing, I'm not bashing anyone that has a job. I have a job, I work, I, you know, always worked. You have to have a job, you have to have your business too, right? Because you get more tax taxes, the taxes, the IRS system works for business owners more so than they work for someone who works for someone else. So that's how you have business owners who or Amazon where you saw that where he didn't pay any taxes on millions and millions of dollars that he made right because he's a business owner so it's a different mindset and I had to understand that and COVID really made me understand that I could not no longer sustain working for someone else 100 percent i had to start something for myself so this active income versus passive income is so important for you to understand it's not even funny yes you can have that active income and it doesn't matter what is what it is that you do you can have that active income because that's where you can get your insurance and stuff like that from i mean you can't get your you can get your insurance working for yourself but you're paying for it too it's just different but you know some some people like myself i have to keep 
myself employed so that I can have the insurance because I'm not making enough money with my business to have my own insurance. So we'll get into that in another time, but I'm going to press play so we can continue. I went on a whole blurb, sorry. <laughs> um, this is my favorite method because with passive income, all you do is put in the work once and the money in theory should keep rolling in without you having to do any more work other than maybe promoting what you've made or in some cases, what other people have made. So let's get to the video. Number one, Upwork.com. Upwork is a website for freelancers. With Upwork, you're making active income. Businesses and individuals post services on Upwork that they would like to outsource, such as article writing, video editing, app development, coding. There are tons of jobs and services being outsourced on Upwork. The beauty of all this is that it has a low barrier for entry. You just have to be good at something. So um, he talks about free, freelancing is huge. I do freelancing all the time. And I know you've talk, heard me talk about um, Fiverr. Fiverr is just like Upwork. It's a freelance site. You create a website for free. And they even have tests on there that they test you to make sure that you know how to do these things. You're not just doing whatever. If, if you are technical, if you're what you're offering is technical in nature or if you're doing writing jobs. So there's tons and tons of these freelancing sites. I actually um, have a list of different um, sites like these and uh, different ways to make extra in income as far as side hustles on my um, Fiverr page. Um, I actually have that uh, where you can get almost 450 different ways and counting because I've found so much, you know, I'm a research person. so. Um, different ways to make some extra money. So, but Upwork is one of them. There's um, Fiverr, which I said I always talk about because I love Fiverr. And this is not sponsored of, of any kind. Um, um, e Elance, Odesk, I can name so many more, but we're going to keep going. If there's something that you're good at, like graphic design or coding or just about any skill, head on over to Upwork and start making some money. Here's a tip if you're considering working on Upwork. Have a robust profile that looks good. This will drastically increase your likelihood of receiving job offers from potential clients. Displaying your best work or highlighting specific experiences can and will help you stand out. Number two, YouTube. Not a lot of people know this, but you can actually make money with YouTube. If you're considering getting into YouTube to make money, make sure you understand one thing clearly. Thanks to the new rules, if you're planning on starting a brand new channel from scratch, you first have to reach the YouTube minimum threshold to get monetized, which means you'll need 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers in the last 12 months. So, yes, <laughs> this is, you can make money off of YouTube. There's, I mean, people like to say that YouTube is saturated, but honestly, I don't think so. I mean, YouTube is only accessing half of the planet. Granted, there's, I think, about 500,000 or a million people creating YouTube channels almost every day or every week or I don't know exact figures, but it still could never be saturated. It may feel like it's saturated because remember when you click on the, 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 the videos, it's only showing you what your interest is. So outside of that, and it may throw in one new one or something like that randomly, but outside of that, you're generally just seeing what your interests are. So it may look saturated for you. So, so I'm into help, um, homeopathic things and hair care. So I'm constantly being bombarded by all these different hair care. And I see thousands and thousands of people doing hair care, um, hairstyles and natural hair care styles and stuff like that. So it's not easy. Like this is not something that you're going to auto making money from. It takes a while to get to that 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers. It's no joke. And to have them actually stay. It's, it's a content building, just like Instagram, just like Twitter, just like um, even, uh, you know, Fiverr. You, there, you have to give good content and some things you have to give for free in order to get to this monetization um, threshold. And it's no joke. So just wanted to warn you guys here yes start your youtube channel if you have an inkling of it do it does it matter it doesn't have to be the best presentation it doesn't have to look the best you just need to put the information that you have out there because you are unique and everyone is, does it differently so yes start your youtube channel once you've reached that you can get monetized how much can you make on youtube 
honestly, as much as you want. As long as you keep uploading good content that people are willing to watch, you're golden. And the longer the videos, the more money you can expect to make. You can make anywhere from one dollar to thousands and even hundreds of thousands of dollars. The more views you're getting, the more money you can expect to make. And also, you get more subscribers. With YouTube, what you're earning is passive income. Make a few videos and they should keep making you money consistently. You can also make money with YouTube through paid sponsorships. But with paid sponsorships, you'll need a large audience, usually a minimum of 10,000 subs to do that. You can also make money through affiliates, but we'll get to that later. Another way to make some extra money with your YouTube channel is through Patreon. I have a Patreon page and it's basically your subscribers who love your content and would want to continue for you to make content. They would, you know, pay like a dollar or something to help you support you in that, in those endeavors. So that's another way as well. And he's going to talk about affiliates. And when he talks about that, I'll talk more about that as well. <laughs> Number three, Amazon. Although Jeff Bezos did start off the company selling books, Amazon now sells almost anything you can think of. It's not just a site for buying your favorite toys, though. You can actually make money with Amazon. And here's three ways you can do that. The first way is Amazon Mechanical Turk. Mechanical Turk is kind of like Upwork. It's a place where businesses outsource work. I'm going to stop it because I actually on my my different side hustle list, I actually have this as a way to make money, but, but <laughs> these jobs that they have on here, you're making like 20 cents, honestly, to me, and I've tried it, I've done it. So I, I know what I'm talking about, unless you're like, you, unless, <laughs> because I, I don't like it honestly and uh, unless you're on there like 24 7 or you, you you're not gonna get jobs that are, are like five dollars ten fifteen dollars an hour ten dollars an hour um these are pennies that you're making and you would have to do hundreds and hundreds of gigs on there in order to make any kind of good money so i don't really suggest this site if you're looking for like to be a freelancer and stuff i, I would rather you go to upwork fiverr Olance, Elance and Odesk and those ones then enter, but I'm going to press play. Work that's too difficult for a computer program to do, such as audio editing and transcribing, translating audio and video from different languages, testing web pages, writing reviews, and a whole lot of other services. You can make as much as 20 or $30 an hour by working on a few different tasks. This is a legit way of making money, and they do pay. This is active income, though. The second way is Amazon Kindle Publishing. Turn your ideas into an ebook and make money today. Every time you buy an ebook from Amazon, Amazon and the publisher make money, and you can too. The thing with Kindle Publishing is you first need a book to sell. You can either write this book yourself, or you can hire someone to write it for you. You don't have to be an established author or find a publishing company to do this. You can actually do this from the comfort of your home and start earning some passive income. Sounds awesome, right? And the best part is, it's absolutely free. So sign up and start making some money. Amazon takes care of the money handling shenanigans. And you can sit back, relax on your couch, while making some good old passive income. If you're really interested in Kindle publishing, I highly recommend you do more research on this topic. You can find free videos and tutorials right here on YouTube that will teach you the basics. If you want expert advice, you might have to pay for a course. I'll link a really good one in the description if you're interested. Some people make over $100,000 publishing Kindle ebooks on Amazon. It's definitely a market to look into. The third way is Amazon's Associates Program. This is a very popular and easy way of earning passive income. All you do is sign up to the Amazon Associates Program, which is free. Then you can pick from thousands of things on Amazon to sell on your website and start promoting. Amazon will give you a special link, and every time someone buys through your link, Amazon will give you a commission anywhere from 5 to 10% of the sale. Amazon will pay you 60 days after a purchase, and you can choose to be paid either through Amazon gift cards or wire transfer to a bank account, although this is currently only available in the United States. But if you live outside of America, you can be paid via checks, or you can have the money transferred to your Amazon account and start buying stuff with it. Number 4. ClickBank 
ClickBank is a marketplace for product creators and affiliates to make money online by selling their courses or services to the world. ClickBank only sells digital products, but the beauty of ClickBank is the commission payout is so much higher than Amazon. Some affiliates pay you as much as 75% for selling their services, while others pay as low as 5%, so keep that in mind. With that said, you can make some really good money on ClickBank, hundreds or even thousands of dollars. Simply head over to ClickBank, pick something to sell, and start making money. Number 5. Flippa.com Flippa is the number one marketplace for buying and selling online businesses. It attracts a huge audience, and it offers great tools to increase visibility. It's an auction site, pretty much like eBay, for those selling and buying digital assets, such as websites, apps, domains, Shopify stores, and Amazon FBA accounts. If you're good at making apps or even websites, you can actually...
tier. So yes, you can start off at $5, but you can be where validate yourself to pro status, <clears throat> excuse me, where you can charge like $300 and $400 to do these, um, to have these, uh, to do these programs for people or whatever it is that you do. So you can be like a low level to a pro. So that's the tier level that they have there, which is so amazing. <clears throat> that's why I really love it because I can literally get people for five dollars and have it done at a tiered level versus you know three hundred fifty dollars. You know, granted you're getting more, but I absolutely love my firm, so I have to talk about it. <laughs> Guys, it's a legit way of making money. Number ten, dropshipping. Dropshipping. What you're basically doing is selling someone else stuff for a small or large profit without having to pay for shipping. So basically you're acting like a broker or a realtor. You can do this by opening up a Shopify store and using the double overload. Overload is an app that you can link to Shopify. What a lot of people do is source for stuff they'd like to sell on their store. The basic principle of dropshipping is that you create a store or any channel where people can buy stuff from you. Then, once they buy their stuff, less than you charge them, and you have the manufacturer ship it to the customer, all without any leverage to return touching the product. The best part of dropshipping is when you set your own price for the product you want to sell, and then take the profit to pay the manufacturer the rest. So yeah, that's dropshipping. So I do want to make a comment about this, because yes, I mean, dropshipping is great, but you do have to have some kind of money to reserve. So even though you can, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> So even though you create a store and you have all these things to sell, you still have to buy the product on your own and then you know, the market will be so good to sell it. Have them buy it from you and then you buy it, buy it from the manufacturer. So you're still, you're still spending money there. So you still need to have a certain amount of money left over just in case so that you can pay the manufacturer. Don't give it much less than what... Um, you're selling it for so if you found a camera or something and you bought it for like 20 bucks and then channel actually has like millions of subscribers with you don't even know this person's face so but it was great information and um i actually learned from this today too so but i just wanted to go over this video this was awesome great stuff um but i just wanted to talk and put the link down while he was talking to me because i hate when people say like shopify is so free and you're not spending any money but when you really look into it and really be, be diligent you're spending money too.
feels that it's real. Mm-hmm. can join my Patreon and get me up to where I need to be, then yeah, I can make sure I, I do that research for you guys and get more videos coming out. But right now, I can only afford to do it once a week, alright? So, I'm out, guys. I'm Tantra.